Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. We're watching the Daily Report as well as the marketplace that will be coming your way in a short while with P.S. Susan Mangeni, Principal Secretary for MSME Development. Now, the Speaker for, of the National Assembly, Moses Utangula, has warned disciplinary action against members of Parliament speaking against the soon-to-be-opened Bunge Towers. Speaker Wetangula stated the MPs might find themselves before the Powers and Privileges Committee for speaking against the project without having sufficient information. His statement coming after Nandi Senator Samson Cherarge poked holes in the information about towers, which is expected to be officially opened on Friday this week. Our senior parliamentary reporter Elizabeth Mutuku with the details. Just one day to the long-awaited official opening of the Bunge Tower, rumbles have emerged over the multi-billion shillings tower, which is expected to house 349 MPs plus their staffers. The murmurs over the state of the building have forced the Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Masika Wetangula, and who is also the Chair of the Parliamentary Service Commission, PSC, to issue stern warning over what he terms as inaccurate and vitriolic allegations concerning the tower. The members who are raising concerns, like I had one saying the lifts are not working, there are six high-speed lifts, six or five, all working as efficiently as any building you can find in Manhattan in the U.S. During Wednesday afternoon parliamentary session, Speaker Wetangula communicated to the House that the President would officially open the tower on Friday, further making an effort to allay any fears that the building is not ready for use. The Speaker also appeared to persuade members to ignore what he called rejectionist philosophers as he further responded to concerns by the minority leader on the negative publicity the opening of the building has generated. Let's not just and those rejection is philosophers who will always say can anything good come from Nazareth Honorable Speaker how do we assuage the public how do we address these concerns that are coming from the public about the efficacy the efficacy of the Bunge Tower project Earlier, Nandi Senator Samson Cherarige had demanded the postponement of the opening of the house until key concerns are addressed. Even if you occupy them without lifts up to the 25th floor, it would be a work in progress because then it will cost those who ought to do that to do it immediately. Zile ofisi ambazo mapatika na hapo kama bunge la Senate limepewa karibu amsini na kitu. So kwanza ilo jengo alitoshelezi maitaji ya ofisi. Hata sekretari yetu wataendelea kufanya kazi katika corridors. The construction of the building started 2010 with initial budget of 5.89 billion shillings, later revised to 7.1 billion shillings before being pushed to 9.6 billion shillings. Even as President William Ruto is set to commission Bunge Tower on Friday, many questions remain unresolved with some MPs insisting that they will not be occupying their offices in the tower. Elizabeth Mutuko, TV 47.